Today I'm going to be doing a Starlink install from start to finish. I'm putting a unit in for the Macaw Seniors in Nia Bay, Washington. And uh, the plan is to um, put the dish up on the roof here. I'm going to run that cable down this underneath over here. And then for aesthetic reasons, I don't want to go on the outside of the pole here. I want to go through, but there's a hole I can go through here with the wire and then come out here up and into the building there. Now in the unboxing, this would be the, the mount that's going to go in the roof. Got to get some pretty small bolts for this. And this plug unplugs from here before it goes into the mount. And this is actually the part that will go through the wall. Can't send the other side through because it has a 90 degree angle on it. So that means the wire has to go through the wall from the inside. So got to go drill a hole next. So it looks like the best option is to come through the wall right next to this old uh, cable. I don't want to drill through this obviously, but anywhere up along this edge here, it's going to be fine. And for this, we need a one inch drill. This one's about 16 inches long, I think but it's just a one inch and that's big enough to get the cord through. The next thing we gotta do is make sure there's no electrical wires right in here that we're drilling through. I usually just poke the end of the drill through and make a hole in the insulation and then peek in there. Looks like we're good to go here. Good sharp drill bit really helps for this part because uh, most of the siding is that cement board and that's not too fun to drill through. So I can see the edge of the drill bit here. I actually want to drill from the outside now because if I continue drilling through the inside, more than likely it's going to push off a bunch of big chips and chunks and it can make a neater hole when drilling from the outside. Whoa, look at this. That is amazing. Big old cedar. Cedar post underneath here. Right here, it looks like you're better off drilling a little bit over to the right of that to save time. Yeah, I'm glad I took the extra step to go look first or I would have been drilling through a two by four right here. So I guess I could have just tapped. You can hear the difference. Now I'm going to set the dish up temporarily just to make sure it works. Um, this plug has to go back in. You've got to be really careful with these plugs, especially when you're going through a wall because um, I was doing an install. I got a little tiny speck of drywall in there and it prevented the dish from uh, connecting. And once I blew it out um, and cleared it up, uh, the dish worked fine. It, they didn't do a very good job designing these. This is almost like an Android plug and it seems, it doesn't seem very durable. So be really careful plugging this back in. Plugs in pretty easy, but it's gotta come all the way in to right here. Uh oh, oh there it goes. Okay, I got it. So <clears throat> at this point, I'm not, I mean, I'm already pretty sure that this is a good location for the dish, but you have to download the app and uh, you go to the part where it says um, check for obstructions and hold the app up in the sky and kind of point it around and there's like a big black circle on the sides and then there's an open clear area. You gotta make sure there's nothing in that clear area when you're looking around on the app. And then you want the dish facing north, which is in this case, slightly that way. And so this is called the stow position when the dish is vertical like this. And one thing to be aware of too is there's a little notch here. So if you're mounting this somewhere, you want to make sure the notch is pointing toward the north. So here we are. And now I'm going to go plug the dish in. 
Again, it's the same plug on this side. It looks like an Android plug. It goes in and we're gonna plug it in pretty gentle. It clicked right in. Now we're ready to get this thing going. So I'm gonna go plug the receiver router in and see how long it takes to um, find its signal. This will adjust itself and point north and find the satellites. Using my Apple Watch to monitor recording. This is actually pretty cool. I got a start and stop button and I can see exactly what, what I'm filming. So for some reason the dish is not finding itself. Hoping that this time when it restarts it will find the right position. Something else I found cool about the Apple Watch is the side button zooms in and out. Whoa! So it took about probably 15, 20 minutes for the dish to finally find itself. It was pointing straight up for a while, but you can notice now it turned and it's facing north that way. And I'm gonna um, install this on the roof next, but I'm gonna have to find the right size bolts for this and a good location for it. But um, everybody's laughing inside right now because the internet speed is like over 100 megabits a second and they just can't believe it. So up here, it looks like I'll be able to attach to this using this mount here and then up onto this. It seemed a little bit soft, but I hit some hard wood down there. So I feel confident to put some sealant in there. Coat the threads. That'll do a good job. And I'll put additionally put another layer on top. I'll torque all these down when I'm done. So this thing is mounted really, really stiff. It's not going anywhere. The only concerns I have about um, mounting on the lower part of a roof like this is if there's a whole bunch of snow sliding off the roof, but this is a pretty flat roof, so I wouldn't expect a lot of that. Leaving a little bit of cable at the top here in case this ever has to be serviced or moved. And there's at least uh, another foot or so. And then I'm gonna attach the wire to the outside. So I'm almost done. I'm doing the least favorite part of the, the install for me and that's attaching the wire. Oh, let's get all this excess. Oh, I need to order some plugs, but I gotta get something in that hole. So I'm just gonna reuse the black tape. Okay, finally uh, plugging this in here. And I gotta Wait for this to boot up and then I'll go test it out. Okay, so I'm all done for the day. Uh, this is probably one of the hardest installs I ever had to do because there was a lot of up and down on top of the roof. I had to go into the building and, you know, just going around the building to grab stuff and whatever. But anyway, they're all happy here. Got good internet speed and got a good location on the roof for it. And one more thing, if you need any help with the install or have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me and I can also help with installs anywhere in pretty much Western Washington.